Hey, welcome to another edition of East LA Sports Scene. It's a special edition. It's a field production of an event that's offered to our community free of charge. It's a football specialist camp where we're going to be talking about the kicking, the punting, place kicking, long snapping, holding, the entire uh, spectrum of what it takes to become very, very good at doing the special teams uh, uh, play because it's so critical to any football program, whether you're coming from the uh, Pop Warner all the way up, of course, to the NFL, XFL, CFL, the pros at, at that level as well. So this is where it really starts here for those uh, young players that want to get into this specialty game and then possibly through their academics and beyond and through the play on the field, earn themselves a scholarship. And we're going to have the director, the founder, the creator of this camp, uh, Coach Vicente or Vince Peña. He's the mastermind behind this project. We're going to start with him, get his perspective and why he's doing this for our young student athletes here in East LA and beyond. So stand by, we're coming to you from the home field of the Sure Spark. And here we are now beginning our program for you. It's a special edition of East LA Sports Scene and we're still on football and of course very soon the Super Bowl will be Sorry. coming and then the XFL and the season of football um, goes year round. And here now to speak about the 321 kicking spe or the specialist camp for kickers, yeah. punters, uh, place kickers, punt holders. Here he is, the mentor, the coach, the director, the founder of the 321 kickers, place kickers, long snappers camp. And it's yes, free sir. and it's going to happen right here today at Sure High School. And sure. here we are here with Coach Pena. Coach, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Doing good, doing good. We're kind of excited about doing this. It's a field production where we're going to bring this back to our viewers. Yes, and you are, the, as we mentioned at the top, you're the creator, the founder, the mindset, the mi mastermind of this camp. When did it all start, Coach, and when did you think that you want to do this and then put it into effect? Well, when I was uh, when I was going to uh, Wilson High School, I wanted to be a kicker so bad. Mm -hmm. And um, and the camps were just, uh, like, out of my range, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Yeah. So I decided to go out with some friends and just start kicking. Okay. And then they mentioned that there was free camps. <clears throat> Snap hold kick. That was okay. the first ones I went to. And they were free. Hugh okay. Castellano, the founder. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he showed me a lot about, you know, kicking, punting, mm -hmm. and um, and that's how everything started. Like I decided to do what he was doing. I mean, mm -hmm. he helped so many guys out. If it was like 150 guys at the camps, mm -hmm. that was that was a good amount. Okay. You know, I was always able to compete with them, um, learn from them. I mean, mm -hmm. you call it. There was NFL guys in there, guys from the Pac-12. Sure. I mean, he was just a great mentor. And then uh, okay. they decided to go like very far, and. Um, I wanted to go with them and help out still, you know, mm -hmm. give back to the community. Mm -hmm. But it was just too far, sure. you know, too far for me. Yeah. So then uh, I felt like we still needed that here, you know, and there was nobody that, that was doing it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> There's many guys out there coaching one-on-ones, but it's not the same thing as sure. having a camp for the community and making sure they enjoy it as well as mm -hmm. so I did, yeah. you know. So I woke up on January 1st okay. and I said, uh, I had promised myself if I got a job this year, because I just graduated from university. Sure. So if I got a job this year, I was going to start something for the kids. Next thing you know, I have a job 2019 before the year ended. Sure. So then uh, I told myself I was going to start something and I want to follow through with it. Mm -hmm. And and okay. they coming true. So. Okay, and three weeks ago, you started at uh, Monrovia High School, and lo and behold, how many campers showed up for that? Uh, there was there was a pretty good amount. Okay. I can't remember the, the number, but mm -hmm. it was a pretty good amount of kids. Mm -hmm. And um, it was just impressive because I had uh, printed out fee waivers. Yeah. Next thing you know, I had to print out more because okay. it was just for for the group of guys that I coached usually. You know, it was like mm -hmm. 10 or 5. Sure. So I was like, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a waiver just to make sure the school is protected. Sure. If something happens, it's on their own. You right. know, because I mean, we're not sure. we're non profit. We don't have money for it. Mm -hmm. Those kind of expenses. So sure. I printed out 5. And then, uh, or seven, I can't remember. Anyways, uh -huh. I show up and then I see people just standing there. Okay. And then uh, I thought it was like a soccer game going on because everybody was soccer cleats or soccer practice. And I was like, oh man, <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. I knew it wasn't going to work. Okay. And then uh, a parent approached me and said, uh, is this three, two, one kicking? And I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, okay, we're here for, okay. for you. Like, yeah. we heard about you and uh, All right. we want our kids to learn from you. Okay. And um, little by little, I mean, as you can see now, there's there's a bunch of guys coming in, buying into the program, and that's what it's all about. Okay, and uh, we want to uh, let our viewers know that on our website at EastLASportsScene.com, we've done a, a story on uh, Coach Pena and uh, how to make sure you can register for the upcoming camps. It's all free of charge as he's advertised. So we encourage 
those players, whether you're at any level, as we mentioned, Pop Warner, all the way up yes, community college, high school, uh, semi-pro, Pro, yeah. um, this is a time where you need to be working because everybody else working. is also working. And yeah. you guys are out here to coach. And if we don't have our kids, yeah. this specialty team a concept will go away for us it unless we show yeah. show players that are reaching the NFL, which we know so, there are. Yeah, there are great players in college. There's great Latino and Chicano players yeah. all over the game. So this is an encouragement call for those uh, players who feel this passion to stay in the game as a specialty player, special teams. It's all good. Yes, and uh, last week, uh, going back on the chronology, Coach, um, yes, at East LA College. Yeah, right? um, okay. yeah. Um, uh, I decided uh, to contact the, the head coach from the football team and see if, uh, if you could help me out using the field and stuff. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he agreed and uh, he let us use the field. So we're blessed with another camp. I mean, okay. having a field is just being blessed, honestly. Absolutely. Because it's for them, so, mm -hmm. I mean, if I don't have a field, then sure. we have to just go to a park. There's no uprights, there's nothing. Sure. So there's nothing I could utilize yeah. but the light bulbs, you mm -hmm. know, just for imagination. Yeah. Anyhow, so I reached out to a couple coaches. Uh, the Bobby Godinez, the coach yeah. from Elac head coach, uh, he said, man, you could use it. Um, okay. Take advantage of it. I mean, okay. you work here, so let's, let's, let's make it work, you know? So, yes. so it was good, I mean, having that camp there. I mean, all the guys. Third from high school or mm -hmm. even uh, middle school, mm -hmm. just seeing themselves at a at a college football field, mm -hmm. it was just like, yeah, yeah. I want to be here. I want to do it. You know, so okay. I kind of want to utilize that for mental for mental um, mental help as well mm -hmm. for them because I mean, just seeing themselves kick at a college uprights, sure. it's, it should just absolutely be. Well, they have to be in the moment to make sure the practice really, like they say, um, yes, gets into the, yeah, the entire. Yeah. Uh, uh, physique and the mentality yeah, of the of players. Course, yes. Yeah, yeah that, uh, that helps them a lot with uh, with punting and kicking. Uh, now they're kicking out of college yeah. uprights and they're like, oh, I want to mm -hmm, be here. So, mm -hmm. And of course, um, you set the, the, the journey for yourself at a very good level because from Wilson, ELAC, yeah, as you ELAC, mentioned, uh -huh. and then from there, Lane College in Tennessee. Of course, yeah. So on full scholarship. Full scholarship so you've yeah, made that class. journey complete circle and if you can do it, many others of, of course, course can yeah. do it. I mean, uh, when I came here to the US, I was about nine years old, you know. Um, I wanted to play college football so bad. Mm -hmm. Now when I was coming here, I thought I was gonna play soccer and that's it. Oh, okay. Once I, I made the transition from soccer to football, I was like, this is for me, you know, I wanna, I wanna keep playing. I, I liked okay. it, I liked how having your own fame was just mm -hmm. good, you know. Yeah. When I was about to kick, just feeling nervous, it was like, it was good. Okay. I liked the feeling. Okay. It was just like, okay, it's on me now. Yes. Let's do it. Let's make it, let's make it happen. Okay. And um, yeah, and I, I ended up being a, a DACA student. So okay. so that that helped me, you know, to reach my goal. Yeah. Because without DACA, I wouldn't be able to finish right. school, you know, okay. or have a work permit or my license. Okay. So that helped me travel. So that was good. So when I got my offer, it was just like, yeah, everything's coming, okay. everything's coming together. Well, as they say, dream on, dream big, and never yes, stop sir. dreaming. And here we are from yes, your sir. dream and your thought. It's an actuality for our community. And we encourage, again, as we mentioned, all parents, all players, take advantage. Go to our website. You'll find consistent information. And we're going to be announcing um, each week yes, sir. on our advertising platform there an opportunity for the viewers to catch up and find out where you are. Yes, and, of course, uh, to find you on the Twitter account. Yeah, Twitter. Let's, let's give that to our viewers. Yeah, so my Twitter account is uh, at CoachVince14. And then uh, the camp's uh, Twitter is uh, 2 kicking one that's that's where you follow us and um and then uh we'll, we'll be posted on that okay. i mean we'll be posting dates fields mm -hmm. i mean okay. the the field um it's not it's not it's, it's unpredictable you yes. know because yes. uh, i'm trying to find the, the field that we could use and mm -hmm. you know where we don't have to pay i mean yeah. nobody here is making any money so right we're just it's just for the guys to come out here and have some fun it's a labor of love just as east la sports scene started way back when in the early Same. 90s and to this day now we're heading to 30 years of community work and community love going back to of course our student athletes we are yes, a sports entity we make no bones about that we're trying to get all the exposure out to our players that live in this vast area of east la and then beyond we're seeing yes, people that respond to us from say uh monrovia la habra long beach yeah. compton all all the the, the, the word is getting out there, Coach. You're doing a, a fantastic job. So what we're going to do now, Coach, is step aside here, take a break, and we're going to start to look at the physical good. makeup of the camp in, in just a moment, okay? Sounds good. So don't go away. We're going to so come much. right back. Okay. All right, we're going to do that now, take a break here, and then we're going to be heading over to where, right over our sh shoulders, you've been watching some of the players preparing for uh, the activities, the drills, etc. under Coach uh, Vicente Peña and his staff. We're going to meet some of them as well. So don't go away. East LA. Okay, here we are now. And 
the director of the 321 Specialist Kicking Camp. I'll just say kicking for yes. lack of the, the time in, in, in terms of describing, but they, everyone will know that this is a special camp for the special teams. And we're going to come back to uh, director, uh, head coach, or Coach Vicente Pena. And Coach, you're going to describe a little bit about what uh, the viewers will be seeing. And then secondly, then we'll go to uh, your, your uh, volunteer coach, uh, Francisco Candado. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and tell our viewers why we swing the camera over and uh, we'll be able to see what the long snapper is doing here. Yeah, so he's, he's about to get set to long snap the ball to the to the punter. So, um, yeah, it's 15 yards away. Okay. So we need to make sure our back is straight. Okay. And then uh, we have to make sure we produce a, a good snap all the way to the waist. Okay. You know, that's 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 where it should be every time. I mean, we always aim for the belly button okay. because that's where you want to have the ball as a punter. Mm -hmm. So I always tell my guys, aim for the belly button. You know, if, you're, if, if, it, if it gets there, that means we're doing something good. If it's at the hips, mm -hmm. that's, even, that's even, you know, okay. it's even good as well. And, and on this uh, formation, it's so critical that uh, who actually uh, gives the signal for the snapper to know that it's time to snap the ball? So we usually have full... Uh, the guys, are, our personal protectors, mm -hmm. give signals. So like, already, and then they'll go whenever they're ready. Okay. So when the when the personal protector says ready, you know that means it's ready to go. Okay. So it's on you. Mm -hmm. So that way it's not like a one, two, three, and then snap it. If you know time will be off. Okay. So we just let them know ready, and then he'll go okay. whenever he feels like he's ready. Okay. Sometimes the punters, like if it's in a critical game and uh, you wanna you wanna just waste time, mm -hmm. the punter will wait until the time is running off, and then oh, at okay. the end just like. And then he'll give a signal, or okay. I mean, either okay. or. But that's just how, how they snap it, yeah. Okay, coach. And we're going to bring in your volunteer and introduce him to our viewers as well. I'm going to so stay stay next to him. He's going to come in. And we're speaking with Francisco Candalo and Francisco. Welcome to the program. How are you doing today? Doing great. Good. Uh, thank you for being out here yeah, at you. this moment yeah. because you're with our future. At some point, as I told uh, 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 Director uh, Pena, someone in this group can get to the top or as many as possible is where we want them to be. Yeah. But talk a little bit about you, Francisco, coach. I mean, um, how you started and how you got into this part of the game. Pretty much how I started was pretty much, you know, coming to these camps. Okay. Uh, I didn't really know much about kicking at that time. I was just a raw kicker. Okay. Didn't have the fundamentals, but as I started getting exposed to these camps, mm -hmm. it got me used to, you know, the environment, okay. how to think, how to approach a certain situation. Okay. So when it comes down to, you know, a game, real life situation, it's, you know, automatic. It's okay. second nature. Okay. So a lot of what these kids are doing is like is great because they they are getting exposed because when we were growing up we didn't really have that much exposure as as they do now. Okay, let's watch now as we see there is uh, Juan with Juan the left okay. foot, yeah, a very very good kick um, sailing downfield and we're going to be speaking to Juan a little bit later uh, in our um, uh, program today. But uh, coach, your perspective now working with long snappers and then watching the the punter now. Brother. So oh, pretty much, yeah. Okay. So pretty much, when the snapper and the punter get together, it's pretty much getting the timing right, right? Getting that chemistry in, and pretty much, you know, snap, yeah, snapping kick. That's okay. how pretty much it goes. But as what they're doing right now okay. is great practice. So when they go into their spring games or spring camp, mm -hmm. they're more than ready and ready to snap the ball, and ready for season. Okay. So uh, let's walk some of the parents, maybe, and some of the players, maybe. On a 40, 50 man roster, I'd like to maybe try possibly another position. I'm strong enough, quick enough. Yeah. Um, is that a possibility that they talk to the coach? Oh, definitely. There's always room for, you know, for anybody to come in and play at that, you know, that any level, right? And re realistically, you know, success really comes down to the patterns, right? The habits, the routines, mm -hmm. what they do in and out on the field so when i tell tell kids like really there's no excuse if you have time to be looking at your phone you have time to work on the little things right yeah. so so for me there's no excuse go out there do what you need to do hit the weight room okay. and you know have fun with it. Okay. the most important part well you uh have told me that you are a graduate uh, you attended nichols state in louisiana yeah. but before that let's talk a little bit about your roots uh how, how you grew up and started to play the game well i came from uh Family from Mexico, okay. pretty much immigrated here to the U.S., uh, trying to find a better, you know, place for, you know, our siblings, mm -hmm. for my siblings to have a better future. And then I'm very blessed to, you know, my parents give me the opportunity to follow my dreams. Sure. And surely enough, I landed, you know, getting a scholarship to Nickel State. Okay. And, you know, a lot of it has to do with my parents being a great role models. Good, good. 
and high school wise uh, high school wise college maybe as well? yeah so i started up in high school um i had a lot of pressure going into high school just because the fact that the two kickers before me ended up going to division one okay. so that put a lot of pressure and that motivated me and drove me to be where i'm at today now and then so i went to high school got hurt didn't get looked at so i went to juco okay. continued to work went to went to camps and that's where I got looked at mm -hmm. and from there I went to a division uh, division one school out in state Louisiana okay all right we're gonna bring uh, the director back in because we have some other uh, very important questions because there's so much to this it's a science hang time that's what we're looking for okay. that's what we work for okay and now we expect everybody to reach the standards but I mean as you progress you're getting better and better um, hang time will come with time that's okay. why I tell everybody you know hang time will come with time distance will come with time so and the actual positioning holding of the ball it's like ball. not fully extended mm -hmm. that's that's what that's what creates a a better ball i mean a football contact you know um it's not far away from your body but it's reachable so that's okay. that's what creates a good kick yeah. and, and, and coach this is just one facet of the game because we haven't even talked about the field goal yeah. but punting on the, on the, as they say on the scale of one to ten in a football team it's got to rank very high i mean there's punters just punters and they just focus on punting and that's it um his brother is just a punter um Juan Angel, yes. we're gonna talk to him soon. Uh, mm -hmm. He's a punter kicker. You know, he he does it. Uh, he does it both. Okay. And um, yeah, either you, you're a kicker, you're a punter, or you could do both. You know, okay. combo guy. So okay. just focus on what's your best for you. Let's, let's spend the next few minutes watching a few of the so kickers. I can have each of the punters here get on camera so we can see the different styles and uh, how coach can improve those when it's necessary. And we'll also we'll see some of the other long snappers. So don't go away. East LA Sports Team coming to you.
Okay, here we are now with Daniel Mounier, and he is a long snapper, so this camp would not be complete without you, or any football yeah. <laughs> team would not be complete without a long snapper. And Daniel, uh, you, we were watching you and, and your snaps to your punters, and you have a ritual. You have a way of approaching yeah. the ball. And let's, let's take a look while we're looking at your colleague out there um, and, and go over his um, procedure. Let's talk about if that were you, what you would be doing heading up to the ball after you broke the huddle. After I break the huddle, usually walk up to my stance, make sure my feet are a little above, a little shoulder length mm -hmm. apart. And then, as you see right now, he's making sure his feet are a little shoulder length. Right. He's going to get down in the stance, look at his punter to make sure he could see his target, okay. put a hands on the ball, make sure he has a loose grip, chin tucked, and you fire. Just make sure your hands are sticking out through, okay. throughout the whole motion. Okay, and Daniel, at what level are you playing now? Um, I play JC for El Camino College. Okay, so different levels. High school, of course, seems to have its own set of rules. Junior college and NC2A, yeah. even the pros, of course. But is there anything that a long snapper has to worry about, maybe holding, picking the ball up or causing an infraction? Or as long as he's over the ball, the referees are going to just watch how he handles the snap and what he does? Yeah, basically, well, obviously, you can't pick up the ball at all. So you have to just pick it up from where it's from. And whoever it's from, you have to just deliver it from to the punter. If it's PAT, you got to give it to your holder, punter. Either way, you mm -hmm. just got to make sure it's around the right hand hip or around the abdominal area. Okay. And yeah, that's about it. And yeah. your cadence, your ears also have to be because you can't see. Who might say it's time to go? But you're conditioned to know mm -hmm. when it's time. Yeah. That's so critical because a game could be on the line. Yeah. Okay. Most, um, let's start with PAT. PAT, usually the holder, my holder usually does a double tap on the ground for when he's ready. Okay. Every single kicker has a different drop set back. Okay. And then on punt, uh, usually there's a cadence that one of the blockers give out to us okay. to when to deliver the ball. In the event you notice something at the line of scrimmage with the defense, is this always just a standard play no matter what it has to go? Yeah. Or possibly can you ask for a timeout? You sense something might be wrong? Um, do you have an option to, to do that? Um, you know, usually we just got to deliver the ball. Okay. We got to see where the blockers are, who's lined up, you know, mm -hmm. who's going to come at you after you snap. Yeah. If he's like right in front of you or if the linebacker's going to press up against you. So usually you just got to deliver and then react from there. Mm -hmm. So that's why you got to have really quick feet after you snap okay. and be in a good stance. Talking about the conditioning, very important for long snappers. Um, you, you possibly are in the game most of the time, but when it comes to this particular phase of special teams, mm -hmm. that's your call. That's your job. Yeah. So you have to stay almost extra extra ready. Yeah. Be, well, basically, you you hit the weight room just as hard as any player would because you're basically a blocker after you, you snap. You basically got to protect the – make sure the kick doesn't get blocked or anything. And then you got to run down 40 yards and go try to tackle the guy okay. or make sure he doesn't score against you. So – it's a pretty difficult job. In the last um, phase of this special team's um, uh, job that has to be done, in the event of a blocked punt, mm -hmm. you have to turn the tables yep. and either go after whoever recovers in pursuit. Yeah. Um, special drills for that? Uh, usually they yell fire, fire, fire. So that's when you know the you know something went wrong with the punt. And, or PAT, either way. Mm -hmm. And then back then you just got to turn around and see what's going on behind you and then just got to react your instincts from there. Okay. One other tag along question, uh, not only for PATs and punts, but um, field goals? Yeah, Long field goals also. Long still going to be in that cycle. Yeah, you got to be in that cycle too, the yell fire, fire. If the holder misplaces the ball or if it gets mm -hmm. a guy gets through and blocks it, okay. there's been a lot of instances like that. Okay, last question, El Camino, how's it been there? El Camino, I, I really love the school. They're really good special teams program. Um, I would suggest people going there, and it's all, overall just a great school for me, and it was a good fit for me. Okay. And lastly, uh, Coach um, Peña's reached out and opened us up for the public, and you're a beneficiary, you're learning things as well here. Yeah, basically, I think what he's doing over here is a great thing. It's basically, you know, you're learning for free. A lot of camps, you got to pay $300, $500. Mm -hmm. Over here, you're learning with, you know, s some people, and you're all learning together, and it's a free, welcoming mm -hmm. uh, environment, I yeah. think. All right. Daniel Men Munye. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. we want to thank you for taking some time. Yeah, yeah. Good luck to you in the rest of your career. Good luck. All right. Okay, we're going to take a break now and see if we can get into some of the place kicking um, patterns that we're going to see here in the camp. So, 3 2 1, uh, specialist camp here, kicking, punting, place kicking, long snapping, and holding. We'll be right back with more of East LA Sports Team's special production of uh, football, the game of football. We'll be right back. 
uh, here we are now, and we're going to move to the younger players that are in the camp, or 3-2-1, uh, and we're speaking with director Vicente Peña. And hey, Coach, uh, let's talk about what we're, yeah, our well, viewers can see here. As you can see, we're working on fundamentals. I mean, they're young kids, mm -hmm. and um, I wish I had, like, you know, the money to provide some blocks that we need for them so mm -hmm. they could have the ball a little higher yeah. so they don't have to be kicking off the ground. But, I mean, just having them out here today was, I mean, it's, it's just a joy to watch them right now as they say it's a learning point an experience in their young career as a football player yeah, yeah so um i mean just having them here and watching the other guys kick and uh, you know mm -hmm. hitting at a bigger level yes it's just going to motivate them to do you know uh -huh. and to know that there's uh there's a there's a, there's a sports way out to everything you know i mean like, uh -huh. like today saturday i mean they could have been home playing video games and they're sure. out here you know doing it you know, shout out to the parents for being supportive and bringing their kids out. Oh, that's good because the passion and the love of the game and uh, the athlete. Oh, oh there nice. you go. Yes, and uh, these these uh, young players here are representing the East LA Bulldogs, correct? Bulldogs, Pop yes. Warner. Yes, uh, I had one of the the head coach, I believe, message me saying, uh, "Can I get my kids out?" And I said, "Yeah, I mean, totally, let's do it." Mm -hmm. I think his son is a uh, he's a kicker as well, so that's the one I met first. Today he couldn't make it, but uh, I mean, he sent the the rest of the pack out here. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we have them in now. Uh, I mean, uh, hopefully within time I could provide them with some with some blocks, you know, and uh, that'll be that'll make them so much better because it's gonna build confidence. The ball's already in the air, so it's gonna be just kick it, yeah. you know. So it's gonna build confidence. But right now, I mean, they're hitting off the ground. I mean, we don't we don't have mm -hmm. funds for all that stuff yet, but yes. I would, I'm gonna provide it. I mean, I'm gonna yeah. make sure we have those stuff. And this is just one as what you know, not to cut you off, coach, but this is just one phase of the game because we see them here actually attempting the field goal, but there's punting in Pop Warner, correct? Yeah, yeah. there's punting and uh, I mean, uh, most of them said, I want to kick, I want to kick. I mean, it's good, you know, they want they want to have that going for themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, also because uh, you can kick off, you know, you can kick off. So if they get used to hitting the football, I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be way easier kicking off. Now they know the concept of doing it, you know. So this is basically a learning point, as we mentioned, but a confidence builder as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's gonna it's gonna help them, you know, be the center of attention. Mm -hmm. So when they're when they're out there doing their stuff, it's like, ah, I've been there, I've done it. So let me just do what okay. I know how to do best. One last question, because many of our parents have players that are this age, but you know what? They're in, another, they're in another sport, which we know to yes, be sir. soccer, oh, of course, yeah, football, that's... soccer. At some point down the line, as they grow up, maybe they have a liking to try yeah, well, I mean, uh, you're like, kicking in, in, in American football? Yeah, like me, uh, I grew up playing uh, soccer. And uh, my junior year, they said, uh, hey, man, I want you to be the kicker for our team. And they said, what's that? What's football? <laughs> what's kicking? Okay. You know, I was never introduced to it. But yeah. once I got used to it, I made a transition from soccer to, uh, to football. And uh, I mean, just kicking the ball was my passion. I love doing it. I love coaching it, and I like making people, you know, okay. feel special about it. So hopefully, this group of uh, players will increase as the camps go forward. Of course, yes. And right now, coach, you're thinking about having this for maybe another month or so? Yeah, maybe uh, two more months. Uh, two more months, and uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, I mean, like I said, it's unpredictable because of the fields. But if we get the fields going, and yeah, I mean, who knows how long we can we'll make it? We will advise our viewers who are watching this, they can go to our website and they'll see, well, we, we will announce yes, sir. within 48 to 72 hours where the next camp will be once you let yes, us sir. know that information. Okay, Coach, uh, we've seen the players here. The youngsters are represented. Um, at some point, though, last question, Coach, yes, it's a co-ed sport for oh, of course, yes. girls, and we've seen Garfield have girl kickers, yes, Roosevelt, other schools. Wilson, Wilson High School as well. And, uh, and Wilson. We're breaking uh, the, uh, as they say, the big boys of the camp are going to, show us some field goal attempts right now and we'll be in here to, to observe that and watch it and, and get uh, the director Pena's comments on how they're doing. We'll be right back. This is East LA Sports Scene. Okay, yeah.
Here we are, Juan Rangel, he's a camper today, but also above and beyond that, he is at East LA College as a sophomore. Mm -hmm. And Juan, you are looking very good today. Seems like you're benefiting from the experience mm -hmm. under uh, Director uh, Pena. Talk about today, and uh, first of all, how are you feeling? Well, today I'm feeling really good. Like I felt like I was solid on punt and, mm -hmm. and field goals. Um, overall, he did pretty good. He did pretty good with, um, with instructions on like, what I'm doing right and wrong. And this is good. You need that critique because you need to get your portfolio in the right direction, mm -hmm. positive, and uh, that comes from technique building, confidence building, yeah. and of course improving each time out to get a little more distance mm -hmm. on your kicks. Correct? Mm -hmm. Not only the punts, but even field goals. Yeah. Okay. Talk about how you prepare for a camp and, of course, game day as well. Uh, mentally, um, I always wake up in the morning and think to myself, "Today's going to be a good day." Mm -hmm. So I wake up, get a get a breakfast, and then I start getting mentally prepared on. The, trying to think what I'm gonna do correctly and what, what not to do. Mm -hmm. And then once I'm on the field, like I try to focus more on what's going on already. Not like on technique. Cause if I focus too much on technique, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do the technique, but I'm gonna do something wrong. Mm -hmm. and I don't wanna do that wrong. Okay. Uh, and you still have time. You're in the off season, but pretty soon the camp will start. The spring spring camp, and you'll be taking your place out there with some of the kickers at East LA College. Talk about last year very quickly, and then what the prog uh, uh, the progress report will be for 2020. Uh, well. I'm already done at junior college. Um, I had to complete two, two seasons already. Okay. So I'm just we're focusing on getting my A degree and getting the off-season work on the field. Okay. And then hopefully get a, a good offer from another university and okay. train with them. So the recruitment phase for you is very critical now. Mm -hmm. Make sure that the coaches can come out and see you or mm -hmm. uh, wherever you might be in terms of a camp, they can find you. Yes. Okay. So. All right. Um, let's talk a little bit about, uh, say, the personal side of you. Okay. Um, again, sophomore, do you like? And your major was? Um, kinesiology. Okay. That's very, very good. A lot of athletes seem to like yeah. kinesiology. Is I want good. To get more into the chiropractor. Um, okay. Okay. I was going to ask. That yeah. might that be a career option? Yeah. In chiropractic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, some of your biggest uh, uh, awards that you've uh, uh, merited so far. Uh, my biggest award right now in junior college was. I'll um, probably be getting. Um, special the honorable mention for, for okay. the team. Ah, from 2019 team. From 2018. 20, okay, from 2018. Last season. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and uh, let's see now. Also, you uh, have uh, some very, very important people in your background and your mm -hmm. family. Talk about some of the people that have been big, big influencers for you. Um, obviously, for sure, my parents and my sister well, and my fiance. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been with me since the beginning, since I started kicking. Okay. Um, another one was my coach Vince. He, he's the one that brought me. Okay. Basically, if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be here where I'm at right now. Okay. Because he brought me out from a different school. He told me this school is going to help you and make you better. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be there to help you better. Okay. And, yeah, he did what he said and okay. he kept his word. And, of course, at, at the end of the day, the parents are always there for you. Mm-hmm. Always. Um, they're, wherever, they, wherever I play, they're going to be there. I okay. played at Bakersfield. They were there. San Diego, okay. they were there. Okay. And high school you attended? High school, yes. Um, I only played one season, which is my senior season. Mm -hmm. Was that here in L.A. or East L.A.? Um, I played half my season in in Kaiser and Fontana. Oh, okay. And then I played in my last five games here at Mendes High School ah, in Boyle Heights. Very good. Very good school. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk a little bit about on the uh, social side of yourself when you're relaxing and up mm -hmm. out here on the field. Uh, some of the favorite things you do or you like. Uh, let's start with some of the teams or even the, the field goal kickers or the punters. Uh, well, my favorite kicker is Eddie Pinero, the kicker for the Chicago Browns. He kicked at University Cle of Florida. Cle Cleveland Browns, Chicago I mean, Bears. Um, the Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears. Oh, Sorry. Chicago Bears. Yes. Okay, yes, yes, okay. And another one is also uh, Johnny Townsend, the punter for the Raiders. Ah. He's another one. Okay. 
All right, and then when you're um, uh, again relaxing or just enjoying yourself as a, mm -hmm. a, a young man here, uh, with mm -hmm. of course your your fiance, but you have to socialize and do things to yeah. relax. But uh, when it comes to say listening to music, or movies, or things of that nature that, that makes you relax, um, music, helps you to relax. I, for music, I listen to house music. It's just it's just a vibe about it. Like it makes me relax. Like it's not too strong, not too not mm -hmm. too light. So it's just like a perfect mellow. Okay, and uh, say some of the uh, movies that you've seen. Uh, favorite movies as of now is probably. Uh, it'll probably be. So, some guys have told me it's a football or a sports-related yeah. movie. Uh, one of my favorite ones is on uh, the Longest Yard. Okay, I that, will say that, that one. That seems to be the number one. Yeah. Okay. And any music groups that that you like? Um, my favorite artist will probably be Avicii. Okay. Sadly, he passed yeah. away, so there's no more music coming out from him. Okay. But. Mostly like his music that still lives to the day okay. is probably one of my favorite ones. Juan Rangel, we're going to leave you, Juan, with a chance to look at the camera and not to convince those younger players, but to give them a message, a positive message. If they're in this specialty game of kicking mm -hmm. and punting, long snapping, your advice to them? Um, this is one of my, the most beautiful games. Um, you get along with a lot of people, not just like kickers and punters. You get to meet long snappers, other players in other positions, and you get to create a new bond with them and you basically make another family. Okay, there is Juan Rangel. We're going to be following you, son, wherever you go. Okay. Let us know, and we'll do our best to continue to follow you in, in our coverage. Yes, okay, sir. there he is, Juan Rangel. We're now going to bring in uh, also another camper, Fernando Sanchez, so stand by. We'll be right back. Okay, speaking with another young camper here in the 321 specialist camp that happened today here at Shure High School, Fernando Sanchez. And Fernando, we're going to talk to you very briefly for this interview, but uh, before we even start, how are you today, and what were you thinking of when you got out of bed and said, hey, I'm going to a camp? Um, today I, I felt pretty good like this morning when I first got out of bed I practiced earlier this week okay. I wasn't doing so good and I'm like I don't know if I'm ready for today and then I got here started practicing with everybody else and then that's when like my adrenaline kicked in and I'm like yeah I'm ready to practice like I feel mm -hmm. I feel better mm -hmm. like I feel like I can like actually punt again today mm -hmm. like okay. yeah and almost like a game day, although it's not, we're not yeah. in season, this season continues in the off season because yeah. you need to be at your best. Because as um, Coach Benya likes to say, you never know what the other guys yeah. are doing. And they're working hard too. Yep, it's it's all comes down to who's willing to put in more work. Mm -hmm. If they're if they're practicing every day and I'm not practicing everything, they're getting another day to be better than me. Mm -hmm. So I got to keep up with them. Okay. And now you've been in the camp for a couple of weeks now, and you you're feeling after this this today, and you're feeling more confident. Yeah. Your technique, you know, mentally how to approach things a little bit better yeah. each and every time you come out. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Everything he. Sh Coach Vince, been working with him for a couple of weeks now, and mm -hmm. he's like, every day it's something to where I feel like I can do punting by myself, but there's little things that I still need to learn. Mm -hmm. But by myself, I'm like, I feel good. Okay. When I'm here, I feel better. And it's just, yeah. yeah, every day I keep progressing here. Okay, and uh, you uh, attend Mayfair High School, correct? Okay, and talk about the Mayfair High School team this past year in, uh, in 19, uh, excuse me, 2019. Oh, uh, our team uh, the past year, it was, we did uh, pretty good. It wasn't that bad we won our suburban league um everybody put in that uh put in the effort that we needed to pull through the games preseason preseason started off pretty tough but once we hit season we all came together as a family played as one mm -hmm. and we won uh suburban league made okay. it to the playoffs and just sadly okay. we lost but mm -hmm. we did what we, need, we needed to happen okay and then on the other side of your career in high school you had the academics mm -hmm. talk a little bit about favorite class or subject matter that you liked yeah um my favorite class right now is english um i i don't really like it but like for some reason I'm good at it yeah. it's one of those okay. classes and I'm like I get an A on everything I do in there and I'm okay. like slowly I'm starting to get into it all right okay and let's talk about uh, going down the profile sheet here uh, some of the biggest influencers in your life so far uh, some some of the biggest influencers are um, my dad for one being able to take me to practices no matter where they are mm -hmm. being able to pay for a camp if I need to get there it's just he's been uh, helping me out a lot and then Another person would be what my best friend's dad. Mm -hmm. He like whenever he'd give me a ride home, he'd always give me a talk of just like, okay, this is what needs to be done. This is what needs to happen. Mm -hmm. And like for me, I'm like, I I need that. Okay. It pushes me every day to get better because it reminds me of who I'm doing this for. Okay. And then quickly, career and educational objectives that you have in mind right now. Oh, uh, career uh, career wise, I'm planning on pursuing this. I recently just at our banquet got. Uh, 2019 Specialist of the Year mm -hmm. award, and just that gave me an, uh, another push to keep going. Keep I can actually get somewhere with this, and then that's what I met with Coach Vince, 
and he's made inspired me to do better. Okay. Uh, now, when you're not out here on the field, you're relaxing. You're yeah. doing things of guys your age do in high school yeah. or just coming out of high school. And so I have a list of favorites, and I think you kind of know where I'm going to go with this. But mm -hmm. some of the favorites, players, teams, uh, things that you like. Oh, uh, for me. Um, I'm not really more of a – I'm not that much of a football fan. Like, I, I watch I, I watch the teams and everything like that, but I'm not really, like, into it. I'm more of a, a wrestler's type. Okay. I'm more of, like, old school, like, WWE. I, okay. I grew up with that with my family, sure. and I'm, I'm all about that. Okay. All right. Well, we, that's a whole different topic yeah. we don't have time for. But yeah. also, say, to relax on the day of a game, uh, music, uh, reading, uh, playing videos, whatever. What, 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 what calls upon – what you call upon to bring you down to earth? Uh, for me, it's oldies. I like okay. old school music, and it's just there's some that like when I first get on the bus, I listen to relaxing music, and when the closer we get to the field, I listen to that the rock rock and roll music, okay. and it's just the old school's the best. That's where okay. it's at, and it's All just right. that's what gets me going. Okay, then quickly mu music and some actors, and people uh, that you like in the movies. Um, music wise, the Beatles are my favorite band. They they're I'm all about the Beatles, and just actors wise. Um, Probably right now, Robert, Robert Downey Jr. Like okay. he's one of the top people I've known uh, that are really good in acting. Chris mm -hmm. Evans, uh, which is I'm a huge Marvel fan. So oh, well, basically, all know. the actors yeah. for Avengers, like I'm okay. all about them. I've watched all their movies already. Okay. And last quick question: Super Bowl Sunday next week. Who you got? Oh, um, I I got the 49ers. Okay. I believe the 49ers. I have a lot of friends that say they're gonna win, and I'm like, okay. you yeah, know, I I won't see the game. I'll be at work. Okay. But I'll hear it, and I'm okay. like. Let's hopefully the 49ers win. Okay, remember the name, Fernando Sanchez. He started right here on his spare time, his free time, to learn more about the game uh, under his uh, mentor and his uh, director here at the 321 Specialist Camp. That's uh, Coach Vicente Pena. But we wanted to um, uh, chime in here with you, Fernando, that you are going to be playing at some college come yeah. the fall. So yeah. They're recruiting you now as we speak? Yeah. Right As of right now, uh, my head coach is still looking in a – other colleges he's talking to other colleges about me and for me if he if he doesn't find anything that fits for me mm -hmm. which he feels like that would I would really commit to if nothing really happens my number one spot is ELAC okay. I'm going to ELAC all right and uh, we'll wish you lots of luck there um, last thing for all of my um, uh, guests that come on look into the camera and think of the younger ones the generation coming up and some words of wisdom and how they can stay connected to this game if they're in the special teams division mm -hmm. yeah well um so for my little guys out there what you guys just got to keep in your heads every day is that they every day that you don't practice another guy's practicing harder and they're getting better so you want to stay on, if you want to stay on top of your competition you got to practice a lot a whole lot harder every day and look up the three yeah. two one camp yep. if they can't yep you need help uh, contact coach vince and he'll be here and every saturday just come out and we'll, we'll show you what to do Fernando Sanchez, we thank yep. you immensely. Okay, thank good you. luck to you. you we'll, we'll be following you. Thank you. Okay, that's going to do it here for this edition of East LA Sports. And quickly, our crew today uh, on the uh, digital photography side, Javier Perez on our audio side, Alejandro Mendez and a producer and director, cameraman and lead cameraman, Eric Sarni and yours, yours, yours truly, Rico Cabrera Sr. brought you East LA Sports Scene's production of the 321 Specialist Kicking Camp. More in store. Check our website each and every day and you'll see um, the promotion that you'll find on there for the next location of the camp. So, uh, from Sure High School, thanks for watching and until we're together again, stay healthy, stay wealthy, be careful, but more importantly, be back for our next uh, production of East LA Sports Scene.